We did it. Hi, Nico. What's up? Hunter, I need your help. Okay. Magic's birthday is coming up. I want to throw her a surprise party, but I can't do it alone. Um, of course I'll help. What do you need me to do? If you could get the other Midnight Suns on board, it would take a huge weight off my shoulders. What about the Avengers as well? Should I mention this to Tony, Carol, and the others? Uh, I don't know if they can keep a secret. I'm not even sure if I'll tell them about the party until that night. Oh, but I should probably invite Spider-Man. He seems like he'd really get into it. Fine. Fine, I'll do it. Why not ask them yourself? Do you really need me to do this? I don't, but I want them to see more of what I see. That you're part of the team. It'll mean a lot coming from you. Okay, I'll do it. All right. Let me know what you want. Still figuring out who and what I need, but I'll message you when I do. Probably tomorrow? Sure. Sounds good. Thanks for this. Do you have any questions? When is Magic's birthday? Did you pick a location? Where are we going to have the party? I'm still scouting locations, but somewhere inside the Abbey. We'll make it work. Cool. Why throw a surprise? Why the surprise? Why not a normal birthday party? It'll be fun! All your friends showing up at once to wish you the best. <laughs> Doesn't that sound fun to you? <sighs> yes, I would love that. To have friends do that for me. It is a wonderful thought. Truly, having friends at all is a welcome change from my youth. <sighs> no kidding. Oh, she Hard likes to make it. Friends, when you're on the run. <laughs> no more questions. That is all I had. I'm good for now. Text me tomorrow. I'm good if you're good. Thanks for this, Hunter. Can't wait to see the look on her face. Nor can I. Spider-Man. Is he in his room? And so you actually slept in that thing. That was probably a mistake. I kept having dreams that I was swallowed by Sandman. That's uh, actually happened, you know. Look, man, I get it. It's not a decision to take lightly. I struggled with it for a while myself. What changed your mind? I guess I finally started trusting these fools. They may be a little crazy, but they're like family. And what about your he's, real family? He's got the good guy heterochromia. Don't you about what could happen? Ah, they're back in LA. Much as my kid brother Gabe would love this place, they don't know a thing. Whatever happens here, never gets back there. To be honest, I don't even think we're in the same dimension. Um, what? Uh, never mind that. Point is, this is a safe place with good people. If there's anyone who can keep us... Why did the so voice cut out? With the territory of being a Why did the voice son, cut out? Most of our lives were in God sunshine and candy before Caretaker recruited us. And now we've got a gigantic, demonically powered pizza oven in the forge. Excuse me, would you... Hey, man. It's okay. We can talk about something else if you want. Yes. Please, stay. Can't. Got something I need to do. Checking the pizza oven. I really thought I had him with the pizza thing. What is it with you both and pizza? Okay, you wanted it, you got it. Oh. You wanted what? I give you by popular demand, the man underneath the mask. Peter Parker from Forest Hills, Queens. Nice to see you finally ditch the spider face doily, Peter. We're all friends here. You got our attention, so... What do you got to say, Petey? Well, I wasn't um, expecting this. Hi? So, hi, Peter Parker. After all that build-up, I hope I didn't disappoint anybody. System kid. I mean, I can't shoot laser beams, light my skull on fire, or glow like the sun. Like Tony said, outside of the costume, I'm just boring old Peter Parker. I don't even have a cool screen name. You've impressed me already. I have seen you in battle with Venom, Peter. Believe me when I say you are anything but boring. Aw, thanks. Jeez, Hunter, you trying to make me blush? I did not realize you embarrassed so easily. Get wrecked, idiot. Oh, yeah. I actually surprise myself at the things that embarrass me. So they all got, like, up, weird, like, broken shoulders. Now that we took care of the giant radioactive spider elephant in the room, we might as well get to know one another. If there's anything else you're curious to know about me, 
Ask away. I'm apparently an open book now. Apparently. So what do you say, Hunter? Care to step inside this Spider-Verse? How did you become the Spider-Man? I have encountered werewolves, half-vampires, dragon men. But I have never encountered a Spider-Man before. There must be quite a story about how you became this way. Stop playing it's video games! actually not the most epic story. Sort of a field trip gone wrong scenario, if you get me. What's a field trip? I don't understand. I do not. Well, a small irradiated spider bit me while I was working up the nerve to ask Mary Jane Watson if she'd like to check out the Pym Particle exhibit at the Empire State Museum. Next thing I know, the high-energy photons injected into my bloodstream started altering my genomic sequence. At first, I thought I was having an allergic reaction, and then I started climbing up the walls. I told May Aunt May it was late onset puberty. She, uh, believed me for some reason. Climbing walls? So, what? how about you? Get bit by a radioactive hunter or something? Man, I wish I knew. I am the result of a union that should not have been possible. Locked in an eternal struggle that not even death dare end. Whatever hand designed my destiny is far beyond my understanding. I've been in life and death battles with Doc Connors and Octavius. At one point, I considered each of them friends, mentors. Might not be as crazy as what you've been through, but sometimes it makes you wonder why. Uh, the Avengers. You do not seem like a typical Avenger. Avenger? Me? Oh, no. Between my double major at Empire State, taking photos for the Bugle, and, you know, the whole protecting the neighborhood thing, who has the time? Besides, they haven't asked me to join them. Um, yet, of course. I think you're, you? you'd be a good Avenger. How's this whole Midnight Sun thing work? You like the captain or something? No, no, no. We're a team. Perhaps according to a prophecy. But in truth, it is only unified together that we will all prevail over Lilith and Cthon. Okay, so it's pronounced the tool of our enemy. You sure you're not already an Avenger? Definitely know a guy who'd love to hear that. Here's a hint. It rhymes with smapped in Hermerica. When did you start spider man -ing? Just how many years has there been a Spider-Verse? Oh, you mean how long have I been doing this? A few years now. You should have seen the original suit. I still have it lying around the dorm somewhere. Makes a great blanket. How about you? How long have you been hunting? Hundreds of years. A very long time, man. At this point, I suppose I am well over three centuries old. Uh, that is, if you count the years spent above and below ground, of course. Of course. I mean, whatever gets you seen your discount sooner, am I right? What? You are a fascinating man. Ooh, I like that. Friendly neighborhood fascinating man. I wonder if Stark owns that trademark yet. Uh, what is the story between you and Venom? This Venom creature's obsession with you is strong enough to overcome my mother's call. Until now, I thought that impossible. It's a uh, complicated. So at least we know his Eddie, Eddie, the guy underneath the giant oozing mouth, was a reporter with me at the Bugle a while back. I may have not any of the uh... by exposing a phony source of his on this big murder case. Why are you gonna cut a guy break? See a See the chump. alien symbiote that had secretly bonded with me after my original suit was trashed on Battleworld. We can talk about that little adventure later. Long story short, I thought I had eradicated the suit with a giant church bell. Before I knew it was alive, of course. Anywho, the alien symbiote decided to merge with Eddie. And the two have been hunting me down ever since. It's your basic simple misunderstanding, right? He just wants the power to kill ah, Spider-Man. Went to church to pray. Every superhero needs a super nemesis. Venom is mine. Must be tough having your own mom be yours, huh? It is tough. She made her choice. From a caretaker has told me, Lilith ceased being my mother the day she gave her soul to the Darkhold. The mother of demons is all that remains now. There's some movies you and I really need to watch. It used to be a trilogy. Now, I've lost count. Either way, call me a romantic, but I believe there's still good in everyone. Oh, he's talking about Star Wars. That's why I have a soft spot for Eddie. And the symbiote, too. That symbiote saved my life on more than a few occasions. Deep down, I know there's more than what you see on that slimy, 
oozing brain-eating surface. Maybe. I should be on my way then. Thank you, Peter. I should be going. This was eye-opening. For both of us? I gotta thank you too. Hell yeah. I was sort of holding back before. You know, didn't want to be a chatty Charlie. But now the floodgates are open. Let the real Peter Parker flow through. Anyway, um, you gotta go. I'll talk to you soon. Take care, Peter. That, I have no doubt. Farewell, Peter. Good chatting with you, Hunter. All right, who wants to hang out? Tony. Some of those spells were a little hectic. Perhaps I hang need on. some practice. You have not set anything on fire today, have you? It's so static. It's terrifying. Tony. Do you think your mom thinks I'm the corrupting influence on you, or is it the other way around? Um. Ooh, I don't think Tony will like any of that. Doc! What? Fine. R reading by the fire. Tony decides being a... How's your spark treating you? Any feedback? Acceptable answers are genius design, work of a genius, really anything involving the word genius. Gotta stroke his ego, huh? I'm glad you asked. There is so much room for improvement. Uh, th that's, that's not what I... It's a joke, Take Tony. Take Superlink. Why restrict us to such a limited number of heroes if its purpose is to link all heroes? Uh, th there are issues of secret identity we're still trying to... Or the outer shell. Yes, I barely notice it is there in a fight, but one good hit could crack it in half. Oh, the case is an alpha, and we're... Do not get me started on the volume control. The comms are so loud, you may as well broadcast them directly to Hydra. Uh, okay. Tell you what, send all of your feedback to at Happy Go Lucky. Who is that? The guy who rolled out my design without enough product testing. Will he address my issues? I thought Only this was a joke. Of midnight and 5 a.m. Hang Damn on, it. Tony's always a good time. Damn it. I had some questions about the party. Sure, what's up? Why the sup Okay. That All right, seems like Spider-Man and Nico are hanging out. That's nice to see. Carol, what have you got? Hello. Something amiss, Captain? Nope, nothing. Just Bruce being Bruce. More importantly, really glad we got Spider-Man back, Hunter. Not sure if you've noticed it, but these end-of-day scenarios really tend to put a damper on morale. It's nice to get a solid win, you know? I know. Yes, there are no small victories. Every victory we have inches us closer to stopping Lilith. And every life we save. It was playing the There's game is so loud. Against her. In this case, a wisecracking radioactive Spider-Man ally. Hell yeah. Which is a good thing, now that we know Hydra has been augmenting their soldiers with this radioactive green gamma shampoo. We're gonna need all the help we can get. Speaking of helping, should probably get back to it. Get back to what, There's reading a, a book? There's a special Hydra mad oh. scientist out there whose face is just begging for a smacking. And these gamma signatures of his don't seem to want to analyze themselves. Talk to you later. You, you're, you're sitting here reading a book. No one's playing the game. What is going on? Hunter? Nothing. There will be a day where I'm just gonna go like look through like all of Agatha's stuff. Okay, so where are the other heroes? Nothing much, alright. So Spider Man's room. Strange. Oh, that's that's Robbie's room. He doesn't sleep on the couch. Man, the hunter really gets like an exclusive room, huh? All to yourself. He's just so bored. He's sitting there. Injury healed. Thanks, Blade. 
I love these vista shots of the um, of the Abbey. Makes it look real nice. Nico, Abbey Club invite. Before the club meeting can be scheduled, the club runner will first message you to ask if you're ready. Respond to the message and the club happens. So the next night, the club members are free. Um. I will talk to Robbie. Hey there. Who is a good girl? It is my Charlie girl. Fantastic. Charlie jumped in our, jumped in our kinky. All right, first let's do the. Dang Don't it. tell me to calm down, Robbie. The others are in there with freaking caretaker planning their next move against Faustus, and they are totally leaving us out. Again! But this is the Avengers we're talking about, right? They're heroes. So are we. And who had to bail out those heroes when your new pal Spider-Man was being chased by the alien slime monster? Us! Got you there. If they are so powerful, why could Strange not help us save Wanda? Look, Doc's a good guy, okay? He's patched up a spider in a year two since I started this thing. Flaming pumpkin bombs are not exactly covered by insurance. I would not trust him to patch a tire. They move into our home, take it over, and then have the nerve to leave us out of every single damn decision that affects oh, us. Oh, I don't like the uh, the conflict. You do want to okay. cozy up then to Mr. Uh... Stark and Doctor Strange? Go right ahead. Me, I'll be outside. Most of the air's been sucked up from here already. Well. Hey, Robbie. Hunter, got a question for you. All right, two seconds. So I'm not usually a classics guy, but the Abbey is woefully lacking in bodice ripper novels. We'll do our daily sparring first. All right, Tony. I guess I can show you a couple of things. Um, let's talk to Blade first. Nico made some good points, but I gotta be honest. I'm getting used to the Avengers being around this place. I mean, yeah, Tony can be annoying. But not all of them. Of course. Although it makes me wonder. Cool. Wonder what? Well, what are they thinking about us? Are you sure you're feeling okay? Blade, did you strike your head in the last training session? No. Why? It is just... I have never known you to be so interested in your fellow team members' opinions before. I'm concerned about the tactical efficiency between our two groups. That's sure all. thing, Blade. The sure more thing. we get used to each other, the more efficient we become. We can be Like you and Carol. Exactly. Hang on. Oh, got him! I have no idea what you're talking about. Got him! You have many abilities, Daywalker. Lying is not one of them. Admit what you feel about Carol. You owe yourself that much. Admit what? That I feel a sense of admiration and respect for a fellow teammate? You have a crush on her! Face the truth as bravely as you would your enemy, Blade. Your admiration for her reaches far beyond the battlefield. You're delusional, Hunter. God damn it. And for the first time since we have met, I believe you are actually afraid, Blade. I'm not going there, Hunter. Let's just drop it. Consider it dropped. Fine. Oh, and this conversation? It never happened. I will add it to the list. Damn it. Robbie. Robbie, can we speak in private? Of course. Let's go. Yeah. Nico needs help. Magic surprise party. Surprise party. Got to do it. All right. What does she need me to do? Show up. She wanted you to pick the team present for magic. Oh, I got this. I'll find something unforgettable. Please, just ease up, okay, Robbie? Hey, Peter. Hey, can I ask a favor? Um. Uh, I have a question, Hunter. The Infinity Gauntlet. I don't know if it's real, but supposedly it can grant unlimited power to whoever wields it. What will you do with it? Once that of a fingers destroy my enemies, use it without a second thought. 
Is anyone pure enough to view such power? I think not. Thanks, Hunter. You know, the Avengers might do things a little differently, but they always have good intentions. I'm sure everything's fine. In Limbo, I am the ruler of my realm. Here, I feel like a door woman. Sub Doc. Faustus should pray to his gods that Blade isn't the first to reach him. Isn't Hunter, just the person I wanted to see. Go on. Okay, I'll be honest with you. Anyone is the person I want to see right now. At this point, I'd sit down for a tea with Galactus if it meant I didn't have to sift through these gamma readings for another second. It's all just starting to blur into one big giant green gamma mess, you know? And my favorite big giant green gamma mess is too busy to help. Right. You'll get through this. I have seen you harness the power of a sun. I believe you will find a way, Dr. Banner or not. More of a white hole versus star, but I hear ya. Still, just because a gal can absorb gamma energy doesn't mean she's ready to teach a class on it at Empire State. And it's not just that. I've got a bad feeling about things lately, okay? Particularly when it comes to you and Bruce. I'm what they call a precog. I catch glimpses of the future. No idea why, but I'm is sure this... channeling the power of a mini white hole through your entire body oh, okay. might have a so little something to do with it. So this is not like a jokey thing. It. It's not like, oh, my exactly mom says. did you see? I can see the future. Nothing specific. More of an impression. You and Bruce. Your faces. You didn't look good. <sighs> is this what Steven goes through? He's right next to us. I sometimes catch glimpses too. The past, the future. Sometimes a different present. Though the source of our visions may differ, you are not alone in this burden. <laughs> Forgot I was talking to the chosen one there for a second. Still, I actually right. find that somehow so, comforting. Carol's like maybe we can start a tortured vision right, book club or something. Right as rain straight straight I'm through. I'm always here if you want to talk about them. I might just take you up on that. My visions are chaotic at best, and very few. And I'm assuming, between. like her and Captain Maybe America, are gonna be like can make sense of this very sim simple, simple answers. I should get back on task. I think I've ignored these numbers long enough. Talk to you later. Cool. Talk to you later. So, Tony. Um. New gamma core to analyze. Um. Let's see. Where is Nico? She's right next to me. She's right next to me? Hi. And of course, you came to find You don't need to check up on me, Hunter. I'm fine. Perhaps I wanted some fresh air as well. Well, enjoy it while you can. I'm sure they'll be opening an Avengers satellite campus here soon enough. The gods spare us all. <laughs> Look, the Abbey might be a little rustic, but it's ours. <sighs> Was ours. Until these Avengers just swooped in and started treating us like a bunch of outsiders in our own home. And it's not like Caretaker does anything to stop it. Hell, she freaking encourages it. Uh, Pisses me off so much I could scream. Um, we'll need everyone to stop Lilith, come on. The Avengers are powerful allies. Yeah, so I keep hearing. I did not finish. As are you and the others. There is a reason Caretaker chose you for the Midnight Suns. You will have many chances to prove yourself before this war is ended. Thanks, I think. N not gonna be lining up to assemble anytime soon, but I get it. You know, maybe Midnight Suns wouldn't assemble. be bothering me so much if they were focusing all their effort on finding Wanda. None of them even mention her, let alone discuss how we're gonna rescue her. Because Newsflash, no one plans to, especially Caretaker. She's probably happy she's gone. Ugh, forget I said that. And definitely don't tell Caretaker about any of this. Midnight Sun Cone of Silence, okay? Fine. <sighs> Good vent. Let's do it again sometime. <laughs> Later, Hunter. Sure. I hope the next mission is just straight up. Let's go rescue Wanda. Ah, I see. You do not see. What can we work on for you, Hunter? Study artifacts. So we don't have much artifacts yet, huh? 
or any artifacts at all, really. Welcome to Tony's Scary Demon Cave. I'm Tony, and how may I assist you today? Be in your abilities. You're welcome, Hunter. Holy Flame, damage an enemy, or restore 52 health. Hold. That's good. Bolt of Balthak, enhanced with 4 heroism plus 13 damage. Oh, these are all good. Let's take Holy Flame and let's take the bolts. Farewell. Is there anything I can do at the uh He's so stiff when he runs? Hero ops, no hero ops available. Thanks, Hunter. No worries. Why am I still getting all these, all these like excerpts? I'm still getting arcane knowledge from them. But I'm just picking up skill essences every time I, I look at them, even though I've looked at them before. Hello. Very interesting. Okay. A moment, Hunter. In a bit. Ah, fine. What do you need? I couldn't help but hear some raised voices in the other room. Was wondering if you knew what all the fuss was about. Was there some argument? No. Don't snitch. This is not good for you. Didn't hear any argument. I do not know. I, I did not hear anything that sounded like an argument. But you were in the common room when the voices were raised. Shit. Are you really trying to make me believe you didn't hear anything? Yes. Yes, I am. Fine. I can see you're not going to be forthcoming with me. No matter. We have more consequential conflicts to address. Like Wanda? As you were, Hunter. Shit. The bill comes due. Is it Mordo? Supply run... Defeat enemies and defeat heavy enemies. Right. I say we do one more mission and then we do the bill comes due. This magic mission is hard, but I want to do it. I want to do it. But these two have artifacts. Might have to do all of them. I think it's safe. Let's do all of them. <laughs> 